We're coming back. Look at that nice color. We're almost there. Now to tell you a secret I learned from watching Emerald when he was on TV back in the 90s. He said that there's a whole lot of temperature range between off and high. <laughs> and you would be well off to make those temperatures available to yourself. Let me show you the flame I got on this puppy here. See, that's about it. Look, if you don't have a gas stove, get yourself one if you got natural gas in your area. Because it cooks a lot better and easy. You can adjust, adjust the temperature a lot. So this is about medium. And that'll get your, you know, you won't, you, you have to run off if your kid to get one of your kids or something because you got like five, six kids like me and you don't know what they're getting themselves into. You certainly don't want to be cooking this on high. If you cook too low, it's going to take you forever. You know? I think it took me once about two hours once because I was cooking way too low. So... I figured out, you know, there's a couple of things to, to cooking it on medium. Like I said earlier, you need to have enough oil to where you got this kind of consistency. Look at that, see? So if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if your root just bunches all up, then it's, that's, that's just too thick, right? So you need to have enough. Um, uh, roughly about one tablespoon of oil. To one tablespoon of flour but more like a flat tablespoon of flour not a rounded spoon of flour tablespoon of flour it, you know and we're not quite there yet we're almost there we're getting there when this is just about the right color i'm looking for then i'm going to um start off the celery because the celery takes the longest to cook it's the roughest right i'm going to put about uh, four sticks of celery in this chopped up and uh, you know I got eight people to feed tonight including myself and some of you might see there's some little black pieces there that that's just bacon from the bacon grease that was saved and that's just a little more flavor mmm look at that Cajun napalm we call this because if you flick that up on your skin, oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you're going to wish you didn't. You better hope you have an ice maker in your house to put some ice on that sucker. And get some aloe vera. All right, this is just about the color I'm wanting. I, want to, I don't want to burn. All right, so I'm going to add my, uh, my celery to it now. Listen to that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. I'm going to come back in a little bit. For part three, I'm going to start adding the, the bell pepper and the onion. Uh, this, this, this will be too boring to sit here watching this this whole time. So I'll see y'all back in a little bit, Chef.